For today's video, we'll be running Retro Games in Ubuntu using RetroArch. So let's start. What is RetroArch? RetroArch is one of the most commonly used emulators in Windows and also for Linux. You can check from this site, RetroArch.com, and see what are the features you can get in RetroArch. And for today's video, we're going to install RetroArch in our very own Ubuntu. So head back to our Ubuntu and let's start. To install RetroArch, we can get the software from Snap Store. And from this point here, we'll be using the graphical interface that is from our Ubuntu. So let's start. If you are in this Ubuntu software, click to this search icon here and type that part. suggest you need to install the this one the four star retro art as this was the stable version for Ubuntu. so let's start Once done, let us check our RetroArch in our application. From our menu, let us search RetroArch. Once found, let's click that. All right, at this point here, our retro art is fully launched. So at this point here, let us check the following. From our menu, just click this settings. Then under settings, head down to this directory. And from our directory, please take note the following. We have here the system BIOS and downloads. These two setup here is very important as later on, we're going to configure this tab from these two selection drive. So let's start. At this point here, we're going to download our system BIOS. And to do that, let's head over to our power box in our Ubuntu and head down to our URL, this URL here, and look for Retro BIOS Pack. If you are in this section, go to the download option and select the zip file from this section. Alright, so let's start. Once found, let us check now our download section. In our download section, let us extract this RetroArch BIOS pack.
Once done, head over to the extracted folder. Then inside the Retros Biopack, uh, open this system folder. Alright. Take note, these are the entire system BIOS pack. And from this point here, we're going to copy all these system files to our BIOS pack location. So let's start. Let's go back to the download section and copy all those extracted files. And copy those files to this location folder. So let's start. Using your keyboard, just press Ctrl A and right click, just click copy. Once done, head back to the folder, system folder, a while ago. Once found, paste all those extracted files to this location folder. So just right click, then click paste. All right, now that we copy all those files, our system bias now is fully okay. So let's head back to our RetroArc system and check what's the next step for this to start. In our RetroArc, we need to configure also this download section. But before we're going to tackle on download, let us head back to our main menu. So let's start. Click this back button here, then head to our main menu. Then under main menu, click load core. Then under load core, let's click download core. Under download the core, core downloader, we have the list of emulator here. So you can pick any from our emulator. So on my case, I'm going to pick one of the example here. So let's say Okay, here. So I'm going to pick this Sega Mega Drive. So on my example, I'll be download this section here. Sega, MS, GG, MD, and CD. So feel free to explore more. So on my case, I have an example of a Sega Master uh, Sega Drive for this one. So I'm going to select that. Once done, head back to your menu by clicking this box. Then from our main menu, click load content. At this point here, we don't have the games yet. So let's work now on the download section. To test our games, we can download all those ROMs from this URL. If you are on your Firefox, just type romsgames.net Then on the left corner, look for Sega Genesis Under Sega Genesis, I'll be selecting this Sonic the Hedgehog Then click Save Game Once 
Dan, go to the download section. And on your download section, look for the files that you download earlier. Copy that. At this point here, we need to copy that and paste in the RetroArch download section. So let's start. In this section here, look for Downloads, then paste the game. Once done, head back to our RetroArch. Then, let's click now this Download folder here. Once you see the list, it should appear in this section, then click that. Click Browse Archive, then select Sonic the Hedgehog from this game from your list. And there you go. That's it guys, hope you enjoyed this topic and please smash that button and subscribe and hopefully this will help everyone who is in love with Ubuntu. Again, if you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And see you guys in the next video series. Cheers!